Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how to snail a hook. Very simple to do, only takes about a minute of your time. And I want to get through the products I'm using in the video first. All these are readily available at any store like Walmart, your sporting goods stores and whatnot. Probably the most popular line everybody has heard of or have used at one point is your Berkeley Trialing Big Game I'm using 15 pound test. Again, you can use whichever line you prefer. And then also as far as hooks go, these are mainly catfish hooks, but I'm using Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Kale hooks, or you can use your Gamagatsu Octopus Circle hooks. Now these are for all species that you can use a snail on, so don't think this is just catfishing only. Just for an example, I use Gamagatsu Offset Shank Worm hooks. I feel this gives a little bit more action to your soft plastics, and usually what I'll do is I'll just take the um, overhand loop or figure eight on the end and I just take a snap swivel and just connect them on and as this drops down it seems like you get a little bit more action on the bottom and I've caught a lot of big bass that way so like again like I said before you can use these for any species of fish out there so let's get started and I'll show you a few tips along the way as well just starting out this snail that I'm showing you is based off of the hair rig that I use for carp fishing. It's not even really a knot. It's more of when you tie this on, just the tension holds everything in place. So really easy to learn. I'm going to take off a section of line. Let's say about 14 inches. Again, it all is being determined by how long you want your rig to be. So let's cut that off there. So once you cut this off, next thing, you choose whatever type of hook you're going to use. I'm just going to use one of these kale hooks from Eagle Claw. They show up on camera really nice too with the background, so it'll be easier to see. Okay, first step. You're going to take your line and go up through your eye. Just pull a section I don't know, about just to the front here, the bend of the hook. You're just holding it in place, basically. Now, before we get too far, all different brands of hooks have different bends. When you look at this hook right here, you're going to see the bend comes around, and you'll have a factory weld on the bottom right there. You never want to start on that side because your line can dig in and it might snap off. So always start from the side that does not have the weld, just a little tip for you. So we're going to start on that side like I just said, and we're going to start our wraps towards us. And do as many wraps as you want. Now when I'm going to snail a hook, I'll do maybe 12 to 14. I just want to go down the shank a little bit. Again, I'm just kind of guessing. And usually I take a wrap over the line that I went down. It just kind of holds everything in place nicely. When you get to this point, just pinch it with your uh, pointer finger and your thumb. That holds everything in place so it doesn't come undone. Looking at this now, you always want to make sure your line goes down, back down the eye. If not, it will actually not flip in the fish's mouth right and you will lose a lot of hook sets that way. Now granted, you will still get hookups, not as many though. I'll show you in a minute about that. So as soon as I pull down, I kind of cinch everything down and pull on this tag end as well. Everything cinches in place. And what happens, like I said before, when this comes down, when it's in the fish's mouth, it, ha it just has a better grab on it. Now if you do up through the eye, it has a tendency to come the wrong way. It'll come up instead of going down into the mouth of the fish. So all we have to do now, simply cut off the tag there. And I'm just going to do an overhand loop on the end. You can do a figure of eight loop or whichever loop you want to do. Figure eight's uh, preferred overhand that'll work just as well and that's all I'm going to do right here and 
And usually I would wet down all my knots beforehand, but for video purposes, I'm just showing you, you know, what it looks like. And of course, cut off the tag right here. And you're done. Now, you can either use a loop-to-loop -loop connection. I like to use a snap swivel. That way it can take them on and off real quick. And the advantages, especially for catfishing, you can have a bait already made up. As soon as you wand in, take it off the snap swivel, put the new one on, cast out. That way you're not messing around with retying a lot. So that's basically going to be it. Very simple to do. And it takes about, I don't know, what was that, 30 seconds for the actual tying of the rig. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be having a lot more videos throughout the year. If you haven't done so, hit subscribe and plenty more videos to come. Thanks for watching.